The best way to innovate is to build on what's been done before. In our lab, we take more than one targeting mechanism to target cancer so that we can improve the lives of cancer patients throughout the world. My name is Ghalib Al Husseini. I'm a, a professor of chemical engineering at the American University of Sharjah. I'm also the Dana Gas Endowed Chair for Chemical Engineering at AUS. The technology we're working on is a platform to deliver chemotherapeutics in high concentrations to the cancer only, so that the chemotherapy process becomes more humane with a lot less side effects. We're trying to target the cancer only while sparing the healthy cells. The innovation that we're working on in the lab is not to try to target the tumor one way, but two ways. One of them is biologically. So if the cancer cell has a lock, you can take a nano carrier that has the chemotherapy inside it, and you can add the key to the nano carrier. And so now we have targeted the cancer biologically using the key and lock mechanism. The second part is to target it using an external stimulus. The way we activate the nanocarriers is using ultrasound. Ultrasound is a very good modality way to shake or destroy these nanocarriers so that they will release their contents, the chemotherapy drug, only to the tumor site. The key and lock mechanism is a very well understood mechanism in pharmacy, and this is actually how drugs work. The new thing in the lab is we're trying to combine this idea, the key unlock mechanism, together with ultrasound. So we have a huge research group. We get together once a week. We bounce ideas off each other because it's a very worthy problem and we have to put too many brains into it to be able to come up with a solution. There were several breakthroughs. First of all, we were able to, to synthesize those targeted nanocarriers and we found almost a 300% increase versus regular liposomes. So our formulation in test tubes improved chemotherapy delivery by 300%. The UAE is a great country to conduct research because of the quality of students that we have, the private and governmental funding that's available, and leaders who strongly believe in the value of research. My advice to young innovators in the UAE things that I wish somebody told me when I was younger is to stay proactive, read the literature, stay on top of things in the area that you enjoy. Dream big, sky is the limit.